Hello and welcome to Food Preparation and Nutrition. Today we're going to look at your NEA. Why do the NEAs, what the NEAs are and show you an example portfolio. So why do the NEA? You need to show that you have covered all of the areas in food preparation and nutrition. We have food nutrition and health, food science, food safety, food choice and food provenance. Upon completion of this course, students will be qualified to go on to further study or embark on an apprenticeship or full-time career in catering or food industries. We'll show your knowledge and understanding, your creative thinking skills and problem solving. So what are the NEAs? You have two NEAs in food preparation and nutrition. A food investigation task and a food preparation task. The food investigation task is worth 30 marks and 15%. The food preparation task is worth 70 marks and 35%. That totals at 50. That, along with your exam, which is 50% also, is 100%. So, we have the first NEA. This will be um, introduced to you in September. NEA 1 is a food investigation task. It is three sections. Section A is the research, okay, where we plan the investigation and establish a hypothesis. Section B is a practical investigation where you actually carry out the science experiment. And section C is where we analyse and interpret the results. NEA 2, the food preparation task. This task is your final opportunity to um, put into practice all that you've learnt throughout the course. You'll create a portfolio which is no longer than 20 A4 pages and with a font size of no bigger than 12. The portfolio will show evidence of research in the task which is worth six marks. That is where we analyse the brief and we, create and we carry out the research. Then we demonstrate technical skills. That is done by planning and carrying out two to three technical cooks. These cooks are complex cooks. They have to show complex skills. Complex skills such as jointing a chicken, filleting a fish, um, creating um, your own pasta from scratch, pastry from scratch, bread from scratch, with different flavorings, different shapings, etc. Then you will plan your final menu. Your final menu will be three dishes in three hours. Because now you are cooking three dishes all together, you must create a dovetail plan. So that is a, um, a plan where all of them link into each other. Okay, you will be multitasking. You get um, eight marks for the planning. Then we come to making the final three dishes in three hours. Okay, You'll be taken out of lessons for that time. You'll be with me and we will cook them all in one go. You will have planned with your dovetail plan. You will have that in front of you and if need be practice these cooks at home. Then we have the evaluation and analysis. That's worth eight marks. So you will be evaluating your three final cooks, costings, sensory analysis, um, the nutritional value, so using food, um, explore food, food effects of life. So the research is worth six marks, technical skills, 18. Planning of the final menu, eight marks. Making the three final dishes in three hours, 30 marks. And then your last evaluation, eight marks. That totals at 70. When you add that to your 30 marks from your NEA1, you have 100, which is 50% of your overall GCSE grade. You will then complete your written exam in the sports hall, which is worth 100 marks. Altogether, your whole GCSE is marked out of 200. And that is it. 
If you need any further help or guidance, I'm always here to answer any questions, um, document everything that happens along the way. So when we are doing the technical cooks, we need to take pictures of all of those technical skills so that we can prove um, that you did it and that we've got evidence. Um, focus on developing your knowledge and skills throughout the course. So practice these things at home as well as actually completing it in school. Attend DT Club on a Wednesday. I'll be in the food room and you can come in any time, any Wednesday to either practice a cook or um, complete some written coursework. User resources and guides are available at the AQA website and also on its learning. Contact me at any time via its learning message or email. Thank you and good luck.